Home sales increased year over year in September 2024. Buyers were starting to take advantage of more affordable market conditions brought about by interest rate cuts and lower home prices. Hey everyone, this is Sukhmani Bhardwaj, your Brampton's local real estate agent. In today's short video, we'll talk about three things. Number one, GTA's number for September 2024. As always, Brampton's number for September. And number three, what it looks like for the real estate market in the coming months. Let's get started with the GTA numbers. 4,996 homes were sold in September 2024, up by 8.5% as compared to September 2023, and negligibly up from August 2024, which was 0.04%. The average selling price, a little over $1.1 million, was down by 0.97% from September of last year and was up by 3.0% from August this year. Now let's talk about the Brampton numbers. Here's a bird's eye view of uh, the numbers for Brampton, not only for the month of September, but the entire year so far, 2024. Let's focus on the first column, which is the number of sales. September saw 392 sales for all home types, which was lower than that of August. Next up is the average price. 1,035,000 approximately was the average price, which was up by 5.1% when compared to, to August. So that's good news. It seems like three consecutive rate drops, uh, they did have some impact on bringing the buyers back into the market. Next is the active listings. So at the end of the month um, of September, we saw 1,947 active listings, which is the highest number so far in the entire year so far, which means there is a greater supply of properties as compared to the number of buyers that we have so far. And uh, we also have MOI, which is the months of inventory, which basically means that if the current listings that are right now available for sale and no new listings came up in the market, it will take 3.3 months for all of that inventory to be sold, which is um, which is kind of the average so far in the last couple of months. We saw the highest months of inventory in the month of July. And finally, we have the property days on market, 46 property days on market. This was the second highest since January of this year, which means that on an average, any property will take approximately 46 days to be sold. So the market seems to be recovering with every rate cut growing number of GTA households will afford a long-term investment in home ownership, including first-time buyers. Positive changes to the real estate market may come with changes to mortgage lending guidelines announced over the past month. The ability for existing mortgage holders to shop around for the best rates without facing the stress test will result in more affordable renewals. Longer amortization periods and the ability to insure mortgage for purchase over $1 million will give home buyers more options as the GTA housing market recovers. The next rate announcement from Bank of Canada is October 23rd and the grapevine is we may see a larger rate cut this time. So if that happens, it may bring a big pool of buyers back into the market. That's it for today, folks. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to ask, share them here. And if you are thinking of selling and or buying a home, get in touch with me today and we'll chalk out a custom plan for you. Until next time.